Hey guys, Blake here with Torque Boards. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble your motor mounts onto your electric skateboard truck. We're going to be using two motor mounts, so this will be for a dual motor assembly. And the parts we're going to be using for this specific tutorial are this 280mm Torque CNC truck, and this is going to have our 25D base plate right here. And then we're going to be using these V7 reverse motor mounts. And then right here we have our V7 CNC clamps that will be attached to our hanger of the truck right here. And these are in two pieces. So there's a top and bottom piece to this clamp. So the top piece will go on this top portion of the hanger right here and the bottom piece will go on the bottom. And they'll actually be securely bolted together with these um, V7 motor mount bolt kits right here. And I'll open this up in a second to show you a more in-depth look at each of the bolts in here. Here are all the bolts that were in that bag of bolts that I just showed you. And these right here are all the necessary bolts that you'll need for each of the one clamps that you'll be using for your motors. To assemble our two-piece clamp together right here, we're gonna be using our bolts right here. And these bolts right here, these are M6 by 40 millimeter socket cap bolts. And these will also be used with these M6 flat washers right here and these M6 lock nuts. And these will secure these clamps together. And those socket cap bolts go through these holes right here. These bolts right here, these are gonna be used to attach the clamp right here to the motor mount and these four holes on the clamps right here are going to line up with four holes on the motor mount and this is going to connect the two together like so and the bolts right here are four m5 by 30 millimeter button cap bolts and what you're going to need to use with these bolts are four um, M5 flat washers followed by four M5 lock nuts. The easiest way to install your motor mounts onto your truck is to first pre-assemble your V7 CNC clamps right here which are in two pieces and what we're going to want to do is install our bolts right here onto our clamps right here and we're going to loosely attach these bolts and not tighten them all the way at first because we're gonna to wanna to fit this onto our hanger right here. And then once we have everything fitted on later, then we wanna tighten the bolts down all the way. You're also gonna to wanna to have these loose because you're gonna to wanna to be able to slide around your motor mounts to be able to get your perfect fixed position because if you tighten them um, at first, you're gonna to have to untighten them and all that to move around to fix your adjustments and all that. So we wanna keep them loose at first. So what we're gonna to wanna to do to assemble our two piece clamp together is take our two pieces of the clamp and this actually has a top and bottom piece. This one right here is the top piece. Our top piece has this rounded edge right here and our bottom one has these sharper edges right here. So what we can do first is take our top piece right here and we're gonna wanna take our M six by 40 millimeter socket cap bolt and we're gonna drop this down through this hole. But before we put this through, we're gonna want to add this washer just to protect the clamp right here. And we're gonna do this for each of the holes. Now we can put our bottom piece on and we're gonna put our socket cap bolts through these holes right here on the top of the bottom piece and this will fit together like so and before you attach your socket cap bolts to secure all this you want to slip this onto your truck hanger to make sure that these are um, attached in the right position because sometimes you can have one of these clamps facing the opposite direction and this won't come out to be in the exact square shape you need to fit on the square truck right here. But as you can see right here, this is 
what we would want. So what we can do next is attach our socket cap bolts on the bottom right here to secure this together. And actually, I'll flip this piece around just so you can see how it looks if you set it up the wrong way. You don't get that nice square shape. You get this funky little shape right here. So you want to change it back to the square shape. And next we can put our socket cap bolts in. And actually this sharp um, edge right here on the bottom piece of the clamp, this is actually intended to catch this lock nut down here. So when you're tightening this part of the socket cap bolt right here, um, this will catch and tighten the lock nut because if we didn't have this, like on our old um, clamps, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get the bottom clamp to tighten once you um, have it attached to your truck. It's hard to get in there with a wrench and get it tight, but this kind of just acts as its own little tightening device, so it's pretty nice. So you want to put your lock nut in place and get it rested in there like so and you want to hold it down just to secure it and you can start guiding this socket cap bolt in and once it catches you should be good to let this go and this is going to be stuck in there because of those sharp ridges so now what we can do is simply just tighten this with the hex tool and this bolt will tighten down but before we want to tighten this we want to get the other side on too and we're going to want to tighten down each side um, at the same time and what I mean by that is we just don't want to tighten one side too far because it's going to mess up the um, proper spacing of this and we need to do it evenly at the same time to get this straight. Like I was saying before, we actually don't want to tighten a lot right now. We want to just tighten a little bit. Probably, actually I'm not going to tighten any more than this right here because we want to allow some play to slip this onto the truck so we can still be able to maneuver this around to get our proper spacing once our other parts are on. Now that your lock nuts are on and secure, we can slip this clamp onto our truck hanger and also remember don't want to tighten these down too much so we can slip this on so we'll slip this onto one side of the hanger and we're just going to want to leave this here for now while we set up our other clamp on this side right here now that we have our b7 cnc clamps loosely assembled onto our hanger right here with these bolts not tightened down all the way yet um, the next thing we need to do is attach our V7 reverse motor mounts to the clamps themselves right here. And to do this, they are actually going to be bolted on with those other bolts we saw earlier. And those bolts are going to be coming through this side and going through this back side of the mount right here and through this um, clamp right here through these holes and back out through this side and that's gonna allow these to be secured together and attached to the truck securely. So what we're gonna need to do first to attach our motor mounts to our clamps right here is use these bolts right here which were a part of the bolt kit that we saw earlier. So right here we have these M5 by 30 millimeter button cap bolts with these M5 flat washers and these M5 lock nuts. So what we're gonna need to do is use one of these four bolts. One of each of these is gonna go through four of these holes. And the four holes that we're gonna be using on this motor mount are the ones that line up with the holes on the clamps. So you just want to simply look through these holes right here and see which ones um, have light shown through on the other side. Those are the ones that are lined up with the uh, clamp on the other side. As you can see, 
Now, before we enter our button caps in to secure everything together, first we want to include these M5 flat washers and these are going to be put onto our button caps right here on the end and they're going to rest inside these little holes of our motor mounts and these are intended to protect the motor mounts when everything is tightened together. So we'll just slip four of these bolts on with these washers just like so into these holes right here. Once you have your four button cap bolts in with your washers you'll see that your button cap bolts are poking through all the way through the uh, clamps right here and poking out through this side right here. So to secure these and secure everything together we're going to use these four M5 lock nuts that were included in the bolt kit and we're going to put these on right here and you're going to need to hold these down with a wrench or something while you tighten these down um, or else these will just like keep spinning in place. So we'll do that. And we're only gonna wanna tighten them just a little bit, just like before on these bolts over here on the clamp, because we're gonna still need to move all this around a little bit when adjusting the spacing. Now that we have our V7 motor mounts and our CNC clamps attached onto our truck loosely. Now we can figure out our proper spacing of the two so that we can bolt all of our bolts down and secure everything together so we can start assembling the rest of our setup. So your motor mounts are going to end up being spaced out and looking a little bit like this, but to get more of an accurate idea of where you need to bolt down your motor mounts exactly, is if you use your wheels with your wheel pulleys installed on them already and slip these onto your truck hangers and you'll want to separate the motor mount a few millimeters away from this where it's supposed to end up going. And then once you have that aligned, you can do the same thing to the other side right here with your other wheel. And then you'll be able to exactly see where you need to bolt down both of your motor mounts. And this is a really easy way to tell where they exactly need to go. Also remember when doing this test, if you're measuring the distance out this way, you want to have your bearing spacers on your axles right here for the proper distance. So here we have both of the uh, wheel pulleys installed so that we can get our proper spacing on our motor mounts right here. And this is about the gap you would want, about like one to three millimeters um, in between the uh, motor mount and the uh, wheel pulley right here. And we got the same thing going on on both sides. So this is pretty much where you would want to pull your motor mounts down. And if you are using the V7 support bar and bracket, this is an even better way to uh, perfectly align everything together because um, this bar actually, or I mean bracket is actually going to go on these um, portions right here of the motor mounts with these cutouts. So we can grab this bad boy and place it right here and we'll know we got the proper spacing with this wheel pulley method when these holes line up with each other and there we go perfectly line up so we can actually bolt on the support bar right now and uh, take these wheel pulleys off and then carefully um, secure down all of these bolts all right, so I took everything off so I can get all the bolts tightened all the way. And I didn't tighten down the uh, V7 bar and bracket right now because that's optional and we're actually gonna do a whole tutorial for that on its own. But hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. Um, in the next video, we're gonna be assembling the motors and all that next. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that one and 
Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you'd like to see something specific from us. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, have a good day.